So with all the different backswings we see on tour, is there, is there really a perfect backswing? And is it worth spending hours, endless hours, working on different positions and alignments? Well, I mean, it depends who you are. Some, some say that the, back, the downswing only takes 0.2 of a second, so therefore golf is a game of backswing. Others say you don't hit it with your backswing, therefore you would need to be able to coordinate your downswing. So in this video, we asked that question, and um, we're gonna go and see um, one of our regular contributors, team member and biomechanic, Dr. Mark Ball, who has worked with literally hundreds of tour winners, and we'll get his view on it. But before we go and see Mark, let's consider this. We are, we are not robots, you know, as, as we often say on the channel, we have this amazing adaptability and, and, um, in our coordination system. Um, we, are, we are able to, you know, if I take the club away, uh, in this direction, of course, that is typically going to promote a fade. A little bit of fade. Equally, you know, if I take the club away more on the inside, then you would think that's going to promote more of a draw. <laughs> that was horrible. Um, but, you know, it is possible to switch it in transition. So I can take it away in my, in my fade position, if you like, and with a bit of a ball position nudge back, get on the inside and hit our draw. And of course, some people do it that way. Equally, I can take it away on the inside. Take two on that one, inside, and then still, still try and hit that fade. There we go, that's a better one. It's downwind today, so it's not curving a huge amount, but you, you get my point, you know, we are, those were extreme examples, but we can find the, the desired impact from different, different positions. So that's, that is the point really. Do we, do we just work on our adaptability and our skill in the downswing, or is there something that we're missing that's really important in the backswing? Let's go and ask Mark. Right, okay, so, so Mark and I have talked a lot um, around this subject over the years, um, and, you know, we know we know we can adapt, and we know that we can develop skills and a stick a launch monitor down and try and get into out and out to win. Um, and if that is the case, if we are that adaptable, Mark, is the backswing really important? Uh, it's vital, Noel, for many reasons. I'm going to give you the very kind of compressed answer today: how we load joints, how we load tissues, uh, are hugely influenced by how you move through backswing, and equally so how you adapt to move in downswing is connected back to how you first move through backswing. So a lot of what you observe in downswing, how you approach impact, is how you work around and move around, how you move through backswing. So if you if you haven't moved um, in, a, in an entirely healthy way, so you haven't loaded the joint the way it's um, mechanically um, optimal, or the tissue hasn't been stretched in a way that you know it, 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 it likes to be stretched optimally, what, what is likely to happen? Again, how you adjust in transition, how you move in downswing, so much of what you'll observe in downswing, much of what you experience in downswing is how you've adapted for how you first move through backswing. Um, example then for how the, the direction the spine has moved in, uh, how tissues have been lengthened, but then a huge influence then, how they move in downswing and how they, they recoil, they rebound in downswing. So the way you load joints, the way you lengthen tissues, vital in backswing, because in many ways, what you see in downswing is the fallout from how you move through backswing. So would it be fair to say, if, you're, if your backswing is more um, healthy in terms of the way, the way that you've moved, the way you've loved the joints and, and um, stretch the tissues, there'll be less um, adaptations, less adapting happening in the downswing? Yeah, so in essence, you're removing the need. So there will, the, will the movement become more, I don't want to say automatic, but um, more, more, more repeatable without you having to kind of get in there and, and make some sort of funky adjustments. Yeah, the more adapt, the more adaptations you have to make, um, the, the, the less precise it can become, the more variable it become, and the more demanded it becomes for sure. So there we go. Absolutely yes, uh, he said. Uh, and, and we never get a straight answer like that from Mark. He was emphatic that the, um, the backswing is crucially important from the perspective of not just the alignment, swing plane, and all those kind of coachy things, but um, it's about loading the joints and stretching the tissues in the, in the correct manner. Well, we all understand what it is to kind of turn the body and put the club on plane, etc. Joint loading then is, is a little bit more in depth um, and I'll, do, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll create a video all around this, which I'll, I'll kind of link down here. But um, in simple, joint loading is about getting the right hip to move back and upwards. So you're extending that hip as you move back. So the femur, in your leg is pushing up into the into the hip socket so that's important that is loading the hip joint and loading the glute 
That's important. It's about rotating the spine so the spine stays down and doesn't twist and move this way. That would definitely rebound in the, in the wrong direction. And it's also about being able to rotate and keep your scapula, so your shoulder blade here, connected to your rib cage. And that is all around how that, that trail arm um, rotates and sits down. You can see my elbow, it's not pulled in, but it has rotated and sat this way, as opposed to kind of lifted up and off me. That, that separates the scapula from my rib cage. And it's not, equally, it's not pulled in behind us, which is also a big problem. So those are the, those are the sort of the main joint loading issues, as well as obviously the alignments and key things that we, we appreciate as, uh, as, as golf coaches. So with that in mind, um, the answer to our, our question today then, is the backswing important? Absolutely yes. You do not want to be just hitting ball flights um, from any old way and trusting your skill alone. You want to get some of these key linkages right. Before I see you next time, keep practicing your backswing. Good luck. Play well.